Yeah, same one. <laughs> same exact one. <laughs> Just for this occasion, or do you wear it? Like, no, nah, I wear it every day. Yeah. Everything I do, I wear it. Can you tell me you never know, spoke about it before, but kind of what, what all that means to you? Yeah, it's just a picture of me and my dad. Uh, my dad passed away when I was in first grade. He was a big basketball guy. He told me the game, so uh, he was bringing it with me. Everything I do, he's just there with me. I know you were coming off of an injury after your first year, but how critical was it for you to stay an extra year in school to prepare yourself for this type of opportunity? Uh, I think it was big. Uh, I really improved my game. I feel like my body uh, got a lot stronger. Uh, I just got more comfortable with being a good player. Uh, coming off my redshirt freshman year, I was more of a, I was a six man, that's what I was. But uh, the next year I had to step up and be one of the best players on my team. And I feel like uh, that really helped with my confidence in the game. Have you seen any similarities between um, maybe the style of play at Virginia? Obviously, it's, there's obviously some differences, but anything at all that are similar between the way uh, things are run at Virginia and the way that you've seen the Hawks play players? Um, not, not on offense. Offense a lot different. Uh, <laughs> but the D, we do a lot of similar things on defense. Uh, just playing heavy, uh, being in the gas, being at the nail, and just helping each other out. Just, Mostly the same on defense, but on offense is completely different. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, like I said, it felt like I wasn't I, haven't, I wasn't drafted. I've been talking about being on any team. I was basically still in college. So it's just, it just weird not being able to talk about the team yet. Everyone knows you're on, but you can't talk about it. So I'm um, just happy now. I can, I can be a hug. I can talk about it. I can tell everyone. So, yeah. I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. What are your thoughts though about coming to a team that you know, everybody talks about being a young team? You know, they really just got a little younger. Do you have thoughts about you know yeah, being I mean, in that situation? Yeah, we, we have a great core, a uh, young core definitely. Trey Young, Kevin Herter, uh, Omari, John Collins, just great young players who are only getting better as the years go on. And just being able to join this team and being able to help them with whatever they need help with, um, I feel like it's gonna be a fun year. What kind of conversations have you had? Um, with Cam or Trey or John or any of those guys, what, what kind of conversations have you had? Um, and, yeah, we really had, haven't had conversations. Uh, I just met a few of them this week. Uh, so we're just getting to know each other for right now. Not uh, really talking about the season much, but I'm sure once we get in the gym and once things start to unfold and we get deeper into the offseason, we'll, we'll start getting chemistry and just learning each other one another part. This year, three rookies come in as the Hawks. Last year, they had three rookies come in as well. Is it is it kind of easier on you in the transition, knowing that there's a bunch of young guys on this team still trying to grow? I mean, definitely. Uh, still trying to grow, like you said, just getting yeah, acclimated to the NBA. Uh, it's a completely different game. Uh, just having guys, Cam, who I know, uh, Charlie Brown as well, Bruno, I played against them. So just having guys I know, just we're going through the same process, it definitely makes things easier. When you, uh, when you came in for your work at Bruno, was just telling me, he and Coach Pierce did a lot of film work together. Yeah. Did you do that at all too? Like yeah, I did. Putting you in situations? Or? Yeah, I watched a lot of film and I was like, it was a little weird to me. It was, <laughs> that was my first workout, so I was like, I guess they, they do this to every team. <laughs> but I mean, I didn't get to figure that out. It was the only team I worked out with. So uh, it was just, it was weird. It was different, but I mean, it definitely helped me. Uh, he was quizzing me when I was working out and did I know the play? And, and I, I feel like I did. So uh, maybe that's why I picked it. But was it like, um, you did this, how would you do it, or this is how we do it with the Hawks? It was a little bit of both. Uh, just asking me questions, what I would do in the situation. And, uh, we watched film on their team, we watched film from uh, the championship game. So it was just, it was a cool experience. Really. You mentioned the offense being different. How do you think that's going to work with your game? Playing, obviously, a lot faster play system, a lot more space in the court. And how's that going to impact the offense? I feel like it helped me a lot. Uh, I feel like I'm a guy who can get out of transition, uh, really use my length. At Virginia, it was a lot different. We slowed down the pace and we were more the block. And here's more free flowing, uh, a lot of ball strength. 
playing off reading and reaction so I feel like it helped my game a lot. You guys didn't get a chance to practice, obviously, prior to today's game, entering it. Um, talk a little bit about, you know, your, your experience with that. Was it everything that you kind of expected and what things that you would have liked to have seen, uh, that you would have liked to have done and maybe you didn't get a chance to do today that you would have wanted to show on Tuesday? Um, I mean, it was everything I expected. It's just an up and down game, uh, really fast paced. Uh, just, I just got to get my conditioning up for the game. I uh, couldn't practice. Uh, and running the treadmill and riding the black doesn't really help you much on the court. But uh, just getting conditioned to the game. And uh, as far as the next game, I'm going to do the same thing I did today. I feel like I had great looks. So I had just run for it. I just got to get back into rhythm, get back to normal, doing what I know how to do. One more, please. DeAndre, I know you said before that in your transition from college to professional that you wanted to work on ISO, you wanted to work on, you know, having the ball in your hands. Did you feel like that prep work helped you helped you at all today during the game? Uh, I think so. Uh, I didn't handle the ball much, but I handled it a little. Uh, I had one turnover in transition. I was trying to get that one back, but I felt like other than that, I made good decisions. Uh, I was trying to be aggressive, get open looks. And basically, yeah.